Hi, I'm Jack Lewin, CEO of the American College of Cardiology. On behalf of President Fred Beauvais and the Board of Trustees of the ACC, um, I, I'm here today to describe a, a very important action the college is taking. Uh, we are going to undertake legal action against the Department of Health and Human Services, and specifically Secretary Sebelius, uh, to prevent the implementation for cardiology of the, uh, the 2010 Medicare payment rule. Um, uh, there are a number of issues with the rule that I'm sure most of you are aware of, uh, but clearly if this rule is implemented with the faulty data that was used by the uh, CMS and Medicare agency uh, to calculate the cardiology-related practice expenses and, and the reimbursements, private practice of cardiology in this country will fail to exist. In fact, you can't unring the bell uh, in terms of the transition that's already undertaking uh, cardiology where uh, many, many practices, probably 20% of our membership, have already sold their practices to hospitals. Um, there, there are a lot of complications that are occurring as a result of this shift, and many, many other practices are in the process of trying to sell their practice to hospitals in order to financially survive. To understand the whole nature of this uh, Medicare cut, uh, it's not really just income to cardiologists that, that we're concerned about. This is income to practices, it, the income for echocardiography services in the practice, the income for stress testing and nuclear testing, which are the basic tools of cardiology, are so underfunded, up to 40% cuts, that they're non-viable, causing uh, our members to lay off all the staff related to these, these functions, including the advanced practice nurses who work with them, and to shift their practices to hospital-based practice. This is going to have profoundly negative impacts on access to care for patients, and it also has uh, a remarkable negative uh, uh, res uh, result for the Department of Health and Human Services, for Medicare, for the administration, and for our nation's health care. And that is, the shift to hospital-based practice is going to double and triple the costs of all these services at a time when we're trying to reduce the costs in the Medicare program. So this is not only a, a hazardous policy uh, in terms of access to care, but it's absurd in terms of the cost increases that are out there, and it will, uh, in essence, uh, destroy private practice of cardiology. This is not in the nation's best interest. Uh, we are continuing to work with the administration in a supportive way and with the Congress to promote health care reform, but we simply can't let this rule proceed and do the harm that it will do to patients and to our health care system, and so we are taking legal action. It will be filed this week. Uh, and we hope to uh, get an injunction against the department's uh, uh, intent to implement the rule on January 1. Um, we will keep you informed about the specifics and details. Uh, we have joined together to take this important action on behalf of patients and on behalf of the stability of our health care system and to protect the private practice of cardiology in this country. Stay tuned and we'll give you more details as soon as we can.